Uh, this is on set 22. This is practice J. You have to do it. So I'm going to show you how. If you're listening to this to learn how, then do it with me as I do it. Before, so the history teacher gave five 100 point tests this nine weeks grading period. 250 points were possible on homework. F. Okay, the first thing you have to do is figure out how many points were possible for the entire nine weeks. How would you do that? Um, take that, divide by that. Okay, how many points were, were possible on the homework? Uh, <coughs> homework. Homework, all 250. 250 points possible on homework. How many tests did that teacher give? Five. That's very good. Some people don't even remember that. Okay, each test was worth how many points? 100. 100. 100. So if she gives five tests and each test is worth 100 points, how many points is that all together for the tests? Uh, test one, test two, test three, test four, test five. There's five tests. It's 100 points on this test, 100 points on this test, 100 points possible on that one, 100 on that one, and 100 on that one. How many points is that all together? 500. Yeah. So 500 points are possible for just the test. How many possible points for the homework? Uh, Take over, put 250 there, put them all together. How many points possible all together? Over here, look over here to help you. Yes. So erase that and just write 750. <clears throat> no, erase all of that and just put 750. 750 points possible for the entire nine weeks. That's the first thing you do is figure out how many points are possible for the entire nine weeks. Okay. Then there's a chart. I forgot to put the chart. There's a chart that says anybody that has a 94% up to 100%, they are going to get an A. Anybody that has an 85 up to a 93, they're going to get a B. Anybody that has a 70 up to 84 is going to get a C. 60 to 69 is a D. You look at that chart. Say you want an A. You have to have at least 94% of those points. So write 94% of in front of that. Yes. 94% of those points to get an A, of, 94% of, step over here so they can see, of means multiply, so it's what decimal would you type in for 94%? Point nine four. calculator man, 0.94 times 750 is 705. So, use this one, I think it's, you can see better. Right, 705 up to, have you done these before? Okay, I'll start it out for you. So you start a chart and write, anybody that has 705 points up to 750 points, they are going to get an A. Now under the A, put a B. Now, if the lowest A is 705, what is the highest B? 705. 705 points. That person's going to get an A. Oh, well, 704. Yes. So put 704 right there. And then a hyphen goes down to, and to get this next number, we have to look at our chart and say the lowest B is 85%. So we take this time, take 85% of 750, the original 750 points. Would you do punch that and tell us what you get? Whatever he gets, you're going to put it right there. Seven, five. 637.5. If you have 637.5 points, you're going to get at least, then you're going to get a B. So... If you have any less than that, you're going to get a C. Put a C there. What's the highest C going to be? A, a 637. Because what about the person? Yeah. If you put 6, what about the person who gets 637? Put 637 there. 
If you have 637, you're not going to hit the get the B. You're going to get a C. Put your hyphen there. Now, what's the lowest C? We look at the chart. The lowest C is 70%. So this time you take 70% of the original 750 points. How much? 525 points is the lowest C. Keep the D. So what's the highest D? Okay, 524. Good. You got the idea. 524. Down to, now let's see if you get the idea. How can I get this number right here? Um, take 60 of yes, 60% of the original 750 points. 450 points. So the S, let's make an F column. Anybody that has zero points, make your hyphen there. Zero points up to what? We'll get an F. No, the S goes under the D. And I squeeze it in there. Yes, from zero up to 449 is your S. And that's how you do that problem. It's rather involved. Okay, we got it. Done.